Hello, this is Chris from bewegendearchitektur.com. Today uh, we want to show you how you are able to draw contemporary ornaments. So those works um, we have done in the past are strongly inspired by uh, Michael Hansmeier, for example. And um, this is a different approach but uh, it is coming to a quite similar uh, result, so check it out. Uh, we are starting with the standard scene. We are going to the modifiers tab. We are selecting subdivision surface. We are increasing the view uh, to number two. And what we are going to do is we are putting a displacement modifier with a new texture onto the structure in order to uh, deform um, the surface, just like this. Uh, if we're going to increase uh, the subdivision surface, then it's getting a little bit more noisy. If we decrease it, it is getting a little bit more um, less noisy, let's say like this. If we are adding a new subdivision on top to it, then we are um then the results and then the result is a quite weird looking uh shape so we are able to play around with those settings and right now we are already uh coming up uh, coming up with uh cool um shapes not so cool like the ones um uh, we would have expected but let's go further um, if we are duplicating the displacement modifier, something more weirder is happening because... Uh, no, sorry, this was the wrong button. We want to imp uh, duplicate the displacement modifier. Then something more weirder is happening because here we can increase uh, the strength of the modifier in a way that it is somehow interacting, self-intersecting uh, self and this is getting much more uh, interesting right now. Um, maybe from a design point of view, what we are doing right now is we are only creating some random uh, structures, right? So in a lot of situations it can be quite handy to bring in some kind of structure to a shape. So if we are mirroring this form, it is becoming much clearer basically. So there is something random, but it has also a really strong um, design rule through this uh, symmetry. So in a lot of designs, maybe you just check out what is happening if I'm uh, mirroring the shape that I do have. Uh, am I able to produce more precision with this or uh, is, it, is it getting worse? So maybe you have to decide on your own. Uh, right now the mirror axis is in the middle of the structure. So if we want to um, uh, move the mirror axis, we can uh, set a new origin point or in our case it is maybe simpler if we go to edit mode and if we just move the structure to one direction so in this case to the left in order to get different looking shapes like those here okay so let's go through it quite quickly what have we done uh, until yet we have created a subdivision uh, surface modifier we have done a displacement modifier in order to create uh, uh, a shape that is somehow displaced through a, a simple cloud texture. We have copied the displacement modifier. We have done another uh, subdivision surface modifier in order to smooth the created structure. And in the last step we have done a mirror modifier in order to give it a little bit more precision in overall. So what is important? I just recognize a subdivision surfaced 
view is set to 4 and the render is set to 2. Experienced user will notice that this is somehow a weird setup because in the viewport we have 4 uh, and if we would render the structure uh, before there was only 2 we have to set it also to 4 in order to have the exact result like in the viewport. So usually this function is used that you can work, uh, work faster in the preview view and in the final render um, the shape is, is calculated with more subdivisions. In our case it is important that we have um, both settings like view and render to the same amount also with this one here. Okay, so let's go quickly to uh, uh, set up uh, in order to render it. I'm just setting the camera to um, maybe this front view. Ah, sorry, this is weird. What am I doing here? Front view and let's set the camera to here. Let's zoom out a little bit, GZZ, in order to zoom away with the camera. Okay, and let's do a simple lightning setup. So maybe first of all we are setting the shape to smooth. Then we are going to create a simple material. Oh, let's switch to cycles before we set up the material. We simply set it to... Uh, Let's go to a velvet um, material. We're setting the world to a simple sky texture. Maybe let's put the sun from the top right. Uh, I have experienced that uh, this one is giving a little bit better results, but maybe this is just my own experience. And let's do a quick preview. Okay, this is looking quite okay. I am disabling the background uh, when switching to transparent and I'm going to render it out. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed um, okay sorry maybe this is taking too long I have to switch to the graphics card. Hopefully you have enjoyed this uh, video stay tuned for others and Please check out also our projects at bewegendearchitektur.com.